We use Lights On for benefits realization, for data mining, for user support, as well as system performance monitoring. We also use it to help us optimize our alerts in, and reduce alert fatigue in order to help our physicians and pharmacists who are using the system have more value added alerts. We have alerts that are firing and 100% of the time they are overridden. That's not a value added alert necessarily for our physicians and pharmacists to be seeing. So they will take that alert, bring that to our pharmacy team and our physician groups and, and really use that information to make decisions as to whether or not that alert should still be firing and is it still value added. Every time I go in there, there's there's something new that I'm discovering. And also when I'm discovering that, that new item or that new metric, I like to think of how we can use that in our organization and bring that to our clinical leaders to say, did you know there's a new dashboard? Did you know that this dashboard can give you um, more information that you have been asking for? And then we talk about how they can use that in their organization. So the advice I would give to other hospitals that are looking at starting a data-driven program is to find those, uh, those folks in your organization that already love data. Find them and show them lights on. They will be so excited about the opportunities that are available to improve efficiencies in their organization, to help their users, um, to improve their system performances. So um, you, would, you would start with that group, kind of a, a keen group of early adopters. Show them the data in lights on uh, set them up for, with accounts and let them play around. They, they, will, they will love the information in there. Clients who aren't using Lights On are missing a great opportunity. There is so much data in there that can be used to drive changes in your organization, to help your users, to improve efficiencies, to improve your system performance. Um, it's, it's fabulous.